Hello my dear friends, welcome to Infigyan once again in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. Here we are going to solve one very interesting quadratic equation today by two methods. Equation is x power 4 plus 1 equal to x times x square plus 4x plus 1. So I will write here method number 1. Okay, so I will write x power 4 plus 1 and if I will multiply this x cube plus 4x square plus x. Take all the term to left hand side. So x power 4 minus x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. See one root is clearly visible if you will find out. I am trying to, I am not going to use synthetic division. I am going to split or I, I want to write this quadratic equation in terms of product of two brackets. One is cubic polynomial and another is linear polynomial. So my objective is to find out one real root if possible. So if I will check then plus minus one, I will check leading coefficient then it is plus minus one. So ratio will become one and minus one. So let's try, let's figure it out x equal to 1 is not solution of this equation as you can see simply add all the coefficients if i am putting x equal to minus 1 so this will become 1 plus 1 minus 4 plus 1 plus 1 is this 0 yes that means x equal to minus 1 is our base solution so how i will express my quartic equation in this manner x plus 1 in one bracket and second bracket I will consider x cube plus ax square plus bx plus c or in that place we have to put 1 because of here we are having constant coefficient 1. Okay, So x plus 1 is your base solution that factor and cubic polynomial. Now I will expand and compare only. So let me write x power 4 minus x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 will be. Let me expand RHS. So I will write, if I will expand then I will get x power 4 plus a plus 1 x cube plus a plus b x square plus b plus 1 x plus 1. Now you can see there is coefficient available for you to compare both sides. So I will compare then I can write this is minus 1 the coefficient of x cube. So let me frame equations a plus 1 equal to minus 1 a plus b equal to minus 4 and b plus 1 equal to again minus 1. So from first equation we can conclude a equal to minus 2. Okay, If a is minus 2 then I will put in second equation minus 2 plus b equal to negative 4. So b will come out negative 2. Now this bracket is known. So I will write our quartic equation is equal to x plus 1 times x cube minus 2x square. I am putting the value of a and b minus 2x plus 1. So it is converted into the product form of cubic and linear polynomial. Now same task I will do for this cubic polynomial. Okay. So let me write that bracket first x cube minus 2x square minus 2x plus 1. x cube minus 2x square minus 2x plus 1. Again you can see x equal to minus 1 is one solution. So let me write that cubic equation separately. So I will write x cube minus 2x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to as you can see x equal to minus 1 is again one solution of this equation 
then I can write this cubic polynomial as x plus 1 similar way. Then I will write x square plus let me consider that was c was done. So dx plus 1. Again I will do the same job. I will expand this x cube plus dx square plus x. Expand with respect to 1. So x square plus dx plus 1. Collect respective coefficients. I will get d plus 1 equal times x square plus 1 plus d. It is not dx times x plus 1. Now you can see left hand side is x cube minus 2x square minus 2x plus 1 equal to. Now if I will compare both sides, so this value will be equal to minus 2 and again this value is equal to minus 2. So I will write d plus 1 equal to minus 2. So from here we can write d equal to negative 3. So ultimately this equation, this quartic equation completely, it is converted into, let me write here, x plus 1 whole square times the quadratic equation x square plus dx, so minus 3x plus 1. Now you can see easily, quadratic equation we can find out root, so this is equal to 0. So I will write x is equal to negative 1, negative 1. Minus 1 is the root with multiplicity 2. And x square minus 3x plus 1. If I will apply quadratic formula, so I will get my answer. x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So 2. So I will be having 3 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. This is our final answer. There are 4 roots where minus 1 is repetitive, multiplicity 2 and there are 2 more roots. So total 4 solutions are there. Now let's talk about method number 2. That was conventional and easier. So I will write our equation as x power 4 minus x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I am going to divide by x square. So divide by x square if I will write like this. x square, x square, x square, x square. So I will write x square minus x minus 4 minus 1 over x plus 1 over x square equal to 0. As you can see, x is not our solution. So we can divide by x square. x is not equal to 0. So we can divide by x square. Okay. Now you can see, if I will consider x square plus 1 over x square, first and last term, then what is left? minus x plus 1 over x. I can frame reciprocal equation but I want to show you if you will add 2 and subtract 2. So no need to go into the reciprocal and that substitution. I am going to write plus 2 over here. Rest is as it is. Only you have to shift. We added 2 so we have to subtract 2 also. So minus 6, minus 4 will become minus 6 as we have added 2. Now you can see this is x plus 1 over x whole square. Okay, minus x plus 1 over x. It is directly quadratic in x plus 1 over x. Now task is very very simple. We will give substitution. So let us give substitution. Let me write here. Let x plus 1 over x is equal to t. So this will become t square minus t minus 6 equal to 0. If you want to give substitution x plus 1 over x equal to t and then find out so that is also okay reciprocal equation concept it is. Now I will apply quadratic formula. 
okay so t will become minus b so 1 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac so plus 24 divided by 2 this will give us plus minus 5 divided by 2 1 plus 5 6 over 2 3 1 minus 5 minus 4 over 2 minus 2 so t value is 3 and minus 2 what is t x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 and x plus 1 over x is equal to minus 2 let's solve both the equations so x square minus 3x plus 1 equal to 0 here we will have x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0 okay so we will apply quadratic formula it is same identical equation as we have solved earlier also so you can see second one is x plus 1 whole square equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 1 is the solution with multiplicity 2 okay and from first equation if you want to apply minus b 3 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a so 3 plus minus square root 5 over 2 it is identical solution as we have calculated through method number one i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video bye bye